Oh, when did you get back? Well, recently, just uh, a week ago. I've been here for a week now. Well, have a seat, have tea, and tell oh. us about your journey. Thank you. No problem. Until the point when I boarded, it was as like law, like a law that no matter what country you are from, English. Assalamu alaikum, Mustafa. Hey man. How are you salam. I'm good. You're all right. I'm back. How was your trip? Mm, my journey, my trip was good. In fact, this time round, I did not take a flight. I took a road trip. Okay. It was a road trip from from Kenya to this place. All right. Wow. Wow, wow, a round trip. Yeah. What about you? Have you ever been on a, on a road trip like uh, Mustafa? Actually, me, yeah. Yeah? Where like, did you go? I went to Ethiopia. Is that right? Yeah, okay. two months ago. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, mashallah. What about you? Have you ever taken one? Yeah, I took, you know, the last time I was on a road trip, my grandfather died and I went from Hargeisa all the way to Pura'a. Oh, yeah. oh, Sarah, how are you? Wow, when did you get back? Well, recently, just uh, a week ago, I've been here for a week now. Well, have a seat, have tea, and tell oh. us about your journey. Thank you. No problem. It Man, has uh, been... And, 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 and you don't even say hi to us as if, as if we, were, we were here with you. Sorry, sorry. Look at this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, Why don't you even say hi to us? I'm sorry, Gachi Mustafa. I'm sorry, Gachi uh. Anwar. I'm sorry. Hi, hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Thank you. You must have missed me. Yeah. Say what now? You must have missed us. Well, yeah, us is uh, correct. Me yeah. is not very correct. Uh, yeah. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. And we're so glad and, and happy man, to see And man, is it hot here. It is, yeah. Do you know what? Mm. It's flooding back home. Yeah, I saw it on Facebook. It is. It's flooding back home. Was the family There's rain safe? everywhere. Is your family safe? My family is okay, alhamdulillah. What about yours? Yeah, uh, my family is safe too. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. You know, uh, it is rainy season and we, we have to prepare for the same. It can be bloody it can be yeah people should be prepared for every, for anything yeah, yeah. as yeah. i was leaving the airport that was last week yeah. it rained the whole night and the whole morning and actually i was drenched oh. yeah through and through until the point when i boarded it was totally raining and foggy up until actually we left the air, the, the kenyan airspace still it was foggy yeah. Yeah. it cleared when i landed in somalia you initiate that right run anwar oh anwar wanna do jama Hello, you speak you speak Swahili? Yeah, Were you from Kenya? Yeah. Oh really? I've been to Kenya for fifteen years. Actually. Okay. Wow, uh, I didn't know you speak Swahili. I uh, can speak fluent. Mashallah, and you guys speak fluent English too. Yeah, well, yeah. Mashallah. It's it's kind of by default because English and Swahili are the official languages in our country. Imagine that. Yeah. So if you are a foreigner, mm -hmm. that means if you're good in English. You can still survive. Yeah. No, but it's another added advantage if you know Swahili language. Exactly, wow. exactly. Wow. How long did it take you to learn the Swahili language? Mm, maybe like three years, two years. Okay. Now, three years. I've been there, so it was easy for me. You were living in Mombasa? Mombasa, yeah. Yeah, Mombasa. Mombasa. Nice city. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not, born in, you're not born in Kenya? I'm born in Kenya. Yes, but? Then I came back, I came to Somalia. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, so you are a Kenyan. We were in Kenya. Me in Kenya. Ah. Oh, can I keep on the? No, no, can I keep on. Let's keep on. Let's keep on. Every time, every time. Kabana, Kabana. Kabana. It does. It's keep on the. You know, yeah. every time you meet a cop, yeah. a police officer, yeah. they ask you let's keep on the. Yeah. You know. Keep on the. It simply means I bring you identification card. Identification card. Yes. Basically, it shows are you a citizen or not. Yeah. You know. Let's keep on the. Yeah. So you guys are having tea. Is it a glass of tea or a cup of tea? Can I have a glass of tea? When did you get back? Because we left together, remember? Uh, yeah. I think uh, probably I got back like two weeks ago. Oh, a week earlier? Yeah, a week earlier. Earlier than I got, yeah. okay. Uh, How was your journey? It was fun, I can say. I really enjoyed my journey. It was? And like yours, you know, I took a flight. I took a flight, yeah. The same way I went is the same way I came back. I took By a road, road trip, yep. I just wanted to have fun, no? How was the road trip back? It so, must have been hectic because I remember when we were, were going, uh, there was a lot of checkpoints. Uh, How is it going uh, coming back? Yeah, it was a lot of checkpoint, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I think it was a learning opportunity it to was. Uh, to check the places. It was also adventurous. Mm -hmm. As much as there were a lot of checking and what have you on the road, mm -hmm. I can simply say I enjoyed the journey. So it was really tiresome. It is a long, tiresome journey, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. How many days did it take you back? 
Uh, approximately three nights. Three, three nights. nights? Yeah, three nights on the road. Wow, I know that must have been tiring. It yeah. must. So were you in the cab of the car or were you riding outside like a safari where you get to see the sights and the animals? Uh, generally, this was, this was a trip. A bus from Nairobi, that is Isli, mm. to okay. Moyale. Okay. okay. I and how slept. many miles do you believe? How many kilometers? Well, I cannot gaze. Probably a hundred. Nine. But you on a bus, on a bus is like, 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 like yeah. ten hours. Hours. From Nairobi to yeah, to Moyale, then another 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 12 hours from Moyale to Addis, uh, another 160 kilometers. Another 12 hours again from from Addis to Jigjiga. Oh, yeah. And remember, it is good road. Yeah. It's not broken road. It's tarmac road. That means the ro the, the bus is moving. Okay. Yeah, through through 10 hours you are sitting on the bus is actually moving at a good speed, approximately 80 kilometers per hour. Okay. Yeah, so it's quite a distance. You know. Have you encountered any problems? The main challenge on the road is, uh, I can simply say, uh, language barrier. Okay. Yeah, that and the checkpoint. Language barrier, man. Yeah. Yeah. The police there don't understand any other language apart from Amharic. Yeah. So you can imagine trying to engage such people and like, uh, Produce these, do these, and you. It's gonna be it's just, it's yeah. like crazy. They are saying a bunch of commands to people who don't understand. Yeah. I remember there's I a time thing. There has to be a world standard that no matter what country a person is from, they should also have English in their, you know, yeah. in their repertoire. So they have two languages. Everybody's bilingual. Yeah. That well, should be the law. If yeah. you ask me, that would be a biased law. Why? It would be a biased law because each and every community has their own, uh, you know. No, no, I'm saying language. They have their own language, but mm -hmm. it should be the law to have a second language as English, yeah, yeah. no matter where they are, they can understand the people. And if foreigners come to their country, they can understand their needs, their wants, they can help one another. Now the reason why I'm saying it would be biased is the word law. But if you let it as free, optional, optional that is. learn it because it's favorable for you yeah, to talk to other favorable. people. Yeah. But if you say it's the law, it's yeah. kind of restricting. Okay. That word law, I have a problem with it. Oh, right. A little bit, right. you know. I think so, people yeah. should just learn it as a second language. Oh, wow. yeah. it's just so, yeah. Yeah. oh hi. How are you doing, guys? So great, great. Welcome. You are good? Yeah. yeah. How yeah. is life here? All right. life, is, uh, life is full of tea uh -huh. in a glass. Oh, that's great. Yeah, in a cup. Let me grab it. Or I think you should grab a cup, another cup. Yeah. Does she have another cup? Yeah, sure, sure. Sure. Have a yeah, one. cup. Yeah, sure. 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 She just came back from a trip from Nairobi and so did Mr. Mustafa, yeah. you know? So we were just asking about, you know, their road trip and if they experienced and encountered any problems, yeah. the type of things they seen. So Mustafa says the biggest thing that he has encountered on the road is, you know, the Amharic uh, speaking brothers in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. They don't speak English. Yeah. So I said, do you think it would be fair to have English as like law, like a law, that no matter what country you are from, English should be a second language for you. Mm -hmm. In order for you guys to understand whatever is going on, to help whoever comes that's a foreigner, and for you to survive in other countries. Mm -hmm. Just because of what you brought up, I think that would be a good point. Yeah. But Sarah, she says on the contrary, that she feels that, that the word law doesn't sit well with her mm -hmm. because it's kind of biased. Mm -hmm. You should give people an option and, mm -hmm. and leave